This is an 05 Yamaha XT225. Um, I'm going to try to show you how I change the fork oil a little easier than what's been shown. I, first off, I, I pulled the front wheel assembly off. You know, first you get your speedometer drive off and then your axle out. And I wanted to change and get rid of the 275 tire and put a 300 on it. This happens to be an IRC TR8. Uh, nice knobbies on it and it's a dot tire. And uh, so once you get that off, and of course, to be able to get your front wheel off, you're going to have to have the bike up. So I have it on a hydraulic jack, and I happen to have uh, covered the tank, took the steering, the handlebars off, and the steering head bolts off, and uh, replaced them. And I put these nylon ties up to the ceiling to stabilize the whole bike because my jack really isn't the greatest. So once you got the, that all set up, you got your front wheel assembly off. Uh, you're going to have to take this little snap ring that holds the cap in place out. And in order to do that, you have to compress the cap. And right now it's loose because I've already taken it apart. But what I did is I took this metal bar um, that's got a hole in it, and I threaded the bolt through here and I use this as a lever with uh, a socket in between the cap and this and I compress that and I then was able to reach in with a small screwdriver and pick the little uh, snap ring out and uh, once you do that though this cap is going to be stuck in here because it's got an o-ring that's going to catch into the groove of that uh, o-ring groove in there but you have the spring pressure here to help you and if you're real lucky maybe you can tap this and it'll pop out it didn't for me so what i did was uh, i took again one of these nylon ties and uh, i looped it around the top down uh, of the uh, tube and I hooked it onto itself and then I took the other end and I hooked it into the axle and I pulled up on the slider and compressed the spring by about maybe four inches. So now you've got some real spring tension on this cap and that's what did it. Uh, of course the snap rings out and I put the screwdriver on it and I tapped the top of it about three times and because it is under a spring pressure it did uh, fly out of there and you might want to before you do this go to Yamaha and get two of these o-rings like I did uh, just in case you mess them up so uh, now that you got the cap off remember you're all full of oil here put a rag here and you can pull your spring out the uh, tighter coil goes to the bottom and it starts to open up and then it gets a little tighter to the top but the, the tighter part of the spring actually goes to the bottom and so you got your spring out and uh, as I said I have things kind of loosened up already so you've got to loosen up the two top clamps here you've got to loosen up the two bottom clamps and uh, which I already have except for one clamp. I'm going to set the camera over here. Hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing. And so once you get all of them loose, these happen to be, all I needed to do was to loosen that a little bit. And the holding your, your lower leg of the fork so you're not putting tension on your cable and your brake line, compress your fork tube down and you can take it out and then take a bucket and pour your oil down in there and it's got uh, 12 ounces of oil in there and you can actually pump this and you'll get every drop of oil out once it's all out without getting your lines crisscrossed or anything Slide your front fork back in. That's why the other one is out right now because it slides right out and there's nothing actually holding it to the bike. Bring your cap or your fork tube uh, all the way up, line everything up, make sure the tube is right to the top, and then tighten your, 
your clamps and uh, so on and so forth. You're going to get four of these tight, good and snug. I'm going to have to look in the book to see what the torque is. And I'm not covering that right now. And okay, so now you got your fork totally drained out, and uh, the book does say compress your slider all the way up and you can again use the the tie through your axle up to the top and pull it tight to hold that uh, fork all the way compressed and with it all the way compressed and no spring in it you're supposed to add 12 ounces of fork oil and then I'm, what I'm going to do is after I get the fork oil in I'm 